Let's move on to game three. Both players have mulliganed here. It'll be interesting to see how their hands play out. Unfortunately for downfall, he appears to have kept a one land six card hand. That probably means that his hand was very, very good, other than the fact that it had only a single land in it. We see Eyes of the Wizent again, but it turns out his opponent has a slowish hand as well, even though it has lands. He doesn't have a creature for turn one, two, or three, and is reduced to attacking with Treetop Village. Of course, that might just be enough when his opponent isn't playing lands. As it turns out, Downfall's hand probably was very strong. He just showed us a Bitter Blossom off of the Secluded Glen, which means that had he drawn a land, he would have probably played that on turn two and would have been off to a very strong start. As it is, all he has done now is tear Wiltleaf Liege and see another one come into play. He's now being attacked for eight. Next turn after the Bitter Blossom, he will be at eight and he'll have to come up with something pretty impressive if he wants to defend himself. This is an unfortunate stroke of luck, but I'm sure that he knew the risks when he chose to keep a one land six card hand with the potential for as strong of a start as it had. This time it just happened not to work, and he concedes. Congratulations to Tommy Versity, winner of the Magic Online Season 1 Championships.